three sons, Cain, Abel, and Seth. Cain killed Abel and fled to east, where he was sheltered by a band of fallen angels, the Watchers. These Watchers helped Cain's descendants build a great industrial civilization. Cain's cities spread wickedness, devouring the world. Only the descendants of Seth defend and protect what is left of creation. The day came when the last of Seth's line became a man. From Adam to Seth, from Seth to Anash, Anash to Kenan, Kenan to Mahalalel, to my father, Methuselah, then to me. Today, that birthright passes to you, Noah, my son. Creator made Adam in his image and then placed the world in his care. This is your work now, your responsibility. May you walk alongside the Creator in righteousness. As a child, Noah witnessed his father, Lamech, being killed by King Tubal Cain over disputed land. This relic belongs to the descendants of Cain now. The line of Seth ends here. Years later, Noah, along with his wife Nama and their sons Shem, Ham, and Japheth, experienced vivid dreams of a cataclysmic flood. In response, Noah sought guidance from his grandfather, Methuselah. On their journey to Methuselah's abode, they stumbled upon a scene of recent violence and decided to take in the sole survivor, a young woman named Elah. Despite her wounds, Nama determined that Elah would be unable to conceive. As they continued their journey, they found themselves pursued by assailants and sought refuge in the territory of the Watchers. At first, they refused to pay attention until one of them came to guide them. The Creator formed us on the second day, the day you made the heavens. We watched over Adam and Eve saw their frailty and their love, and then we saw their fall. We were not stone then, but light. It was not our place to interfere. Yet we chose to try and help mankind. And when we disobeyed the Creator, He punished us. Still, we taught mankind all we knew of creation. With our help, they rose from the dust, became great and mighty but then they turned our gifts to violence. Only one man protected us, your grandfather Methuselah. We were hunted, most of us killed. Those who lived were left prisoners in these stony shells. We begged the Creator to take us home, but he was always silent. And now you claim that you have heard his call. It is men who broke the world. But I look at you and I see a glimmer of Adam again. The man I knew. The man I came to help. When they found Methuselah, his wisdom helped Noah comprehend the significance of his visions and received a precious seed from the Garden of Eden. Remember, Noah, he chose you for a reason. Noah planted the seed nearby. The following day, the Watchers were back and Noah called for help, but they remained cold. And then, the miraculous growth of a mature forest from the seed he planted surprised everyone. It convinced the skeptical Watchers of Noah's divine calling. Together, Noah and the Watchers embarked on the monumental task of constructing an ark preparing to safeguard life in anticipation of the impending deluge. Years later, Noah realized that the expected flood is about to happen. The animals began to flock to the ark, lulled into slumber by the soothing scent of incense. Japheth, that's a boy one and that's a girl one. After the storm, they'll become a mother and a father and the hatchlings will spread right across the world. We have to be gentle with them, and we have to be protective. If something were to happen, that would be a small piece of creation lost forever. 
All of these innocent creatures are now in our care. It's our job to look after them. Amidst these events, Ela's affection for Shim became apparent. Father, all the birds are too. You have mother, Shem has Ela. But what of me? What of Japheth? Who is there for us? Did you see how he made the forest to give us wood for the ark? How he sent the birds? So, hasn't he sent everything we need? Eventually, Tubal-Cain noticed a vast migration of birds heading towards the nearly completed ark. He rallied his followers to confront Noah. When I heard talk of miracles, I dismissed them. But then I saw the birds with my own eyes flying here, and I had to come. There isn't anything for you here. No, this all belongs to me. This land, this forest, that stronghold of yours. Did you really think you could protect yourself from me in that? It's not protection from you. It's an ark to hold the innocent when the Creator sends his deluge to wipe out the wicked from this world. The Creator does not care what happens in this world. Nobody has heard from him since he marked Cain. We are alone. Orphan children, cursed to struggle by the sweat of our brow to survive. I am the son of Lamech. Eight generations descended from Seth. Return to your cities of Cain. Know we have all been judged. As tensions escalated, the Watchers formed a protective barrier around Noah and the Ark. Tubal Cain, thwarted in his initial attempt, retreated to fashion weapons for a subsequent assault on the Ark. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps casting us out of paradise was not enough. Perhaps he returns to finish us off. Well, if he does, I will ride the storm in that ship of yours. Later, Ela told Noah that Shem deserves a woman who can help him build a family. I know you'll be going to find wives for Ham and Japheth. You should find one for Shem too. But when Noah ventured into a refugee camp in search of suitable wives for his sons, he witnessed the moral decay among the people and decided to abandon his efforts. You said that the Creator would give us what we'll need. How am I supposed to be a man? In a moment of despair, Ham sought solace in the forest, leaving his family distraught. Nama implored Noah to reconsider, but he remained resolute. Look at our boys. Shem's loyalty. Japheth's kindness. Ham's integrity. Good men. They'd be good fathers. Shem is blinded by desire. Ham is covetous. And Japheth was only to please. I am no better. And you? Is there anything you would not do, good or bad, for those three boys? We would both choose to kill in order to protect our children. We're no different. Seeking aid from Methuselah, Nama received a miraculous cure for Ela's infertility, while Hem found companionship with a refugee named Nahel. As the rains commenced, Tubal Cain incited his followers to besiege the Ark. Death comes from the heavens! This rain is meant to wash us off the face of this world! But we are men! We decide if we live or die! We kill the giants! We kill Noah! We take the Ark! Noah located Ham in the forest, but tragically left Nahel who had become ensnared in a trap and perished underfoot. With heavy hearts, Noah and his family sought refuge within the Ark, leaving Methuselah behind in the forest to be engulfed by the rising waters. 
The Watchers, in a final act of redemption, valiantly held off Tubal Cain's forces, sacrificing themselves to ascend once more to the heavens. Soon everything we knew will be gone. All that is left of creation will lie within these walls. In the beginning, there was nothing. Nothing but the silence of an infinite darkness. But the breath of the Creator fluttered against the face of the void, whispering, Let there be light. And light was. And it was good. Tubal Cain stealthily infiltrated the Ark, exploiting Ham's resentment towards Noah for Nile's tragic fate. Amidst the turmoil, Ela discovered she was pregnant and confided in Noah, who grappled with the weight of impending decisions. When the rain ceased, seemingly indicating divine will for the child's demise, Noah resolved to ensure the purity of the future by vowing to kill the child if it were a girl. The rains have stopped. The Creator smiles on our child. The rains have stopped because of your child, but he does not smile. If your child is a boy, he will replace Japheth, last man. If it is a girl who could mature into a mother, she must die. Are you mad? That is my child. If you should bear a girl in the moment of her birth, I will cut her down. As time passed, Ela went into labor just as she and Shem prepared to depart the Ark on a makeshift raft. Despite Nama's impassioned pleas, Noah extinguished their hope by destroying the raft. It's not something I want to do. It's something I have to do. It's a baby! If you hold to this, you will lose your sons, you will lose Ela, you will lose me. I love you, Noah! And I have followed you everywhere, through everything. I forgave you. When everyone was dead, I forgave you. I was ready to die with you. But this I will never forgive. An unsettling interruption from Ham alerted Noah to a fabricated crisis among the animals, orchestrated by Tubal Cain to mount an attack. Amidst the chaos, Ela gave birth to twin girls, and the Ark collided with a mountaintop. In a moment of desperate confrontation, Shem intervened, challenging his father's resolve, while Tubal came poised to strike Noah down. Ham, driven by his own conflicted emotions, intervened, ending Tubal Cain's life with a dagger. Confronted with the innocence of his newborn granddaughters, Noah's heart softened, prompting him to spare their lives despite his earlier resolve. Later, a dove was seen flying with a stem with leaves in its beak. Haunted by his perceived failure and consumed by self-loathing, Noah retreated into isolation within a cave, seeking solace in the numbing embrace of wine. Meanwhile, Ham, troubled by his father's descent into despair, decided to embark on a solitary journey. You don't have to go. I don't belong here. For what it's worth, I'm glad that it begins again with you. Maybe we'll learn to be kind. At Ela's urging, Noah ultimately found redemption through reconciliation with his family. The choice was put in your hands because he put it there. He asked you to decide if we were worth saving. And you chose mercy. You chose love. Finally standing in front of them, he said, The Creator made Adam in his image and placed the world in his care. That birthright was passed down to us. To my father, then to me, and to my sons, Shem, Japheth, and Ham. That birthright is now passed to you, our grandchildren. This will be your work and your responsibility. So I say to you, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. Together, 
they witnessed the emergence of vibrant rainbows as symbols of the Creator's enduring blessings, marking a new beginning amidst the remnants of the Flood. The film Noah, directed by Darren Aronofsky and released in 2014, presents a bold and imaginative retelling of the biblical story of Noah's Ark. While it has garnered mixed reviews, it undeniably stands out for its stunning visual effects, ambitious storytelling, and thought-provoking themes. Visually, Noah is a spectacle to behold. Aronofsky's direction, combined with the impressive CGI work, brings to life the ancient world with grandeur and detail. From the construction of the Ark to the cataclysmic flood itself, the film offers a cinematic experience that is both immersive and awe-inspiring. The performances in Noah are also commendable. Russell Crowe delivers a powerful portrayal of Noah, capturing the character's inner conflict, determination, and eventual redemption. Supporting performances from Jennifer Connelly as Nameth and Emma Watson as ILA add depth to the story, portraying the emotional struggles faced by Noah's family. However, Noah has faced criticism for its departures from the biblical narrative and its incorporation of various artistic liberties. Some viewers may find these deviations from the source material jarring or controversial. Additionally, the film's pacing and tone may not resonate with all audiences, as it balances epic action sequences with quieter, introspective moments. Despite its flaws, Noah is a thought-provoking film that raises important questions about faith, morality, and humanity's relationship with the environment. It offers a fresh interpretation of a timeless story, sparking conversations about its meaning and relevance in the modern world. In conclusion, Noah may not be without its detractors, but it remains a visually stunning and thematically rich cinematic experience. Whether you approach it as a faithful adaptation or a creative reimagining, it's a film that is sure to leave a lasting impression. Thank you for watching our movie synopsis. Be sure to click the subscribe, like, and notification bell to receive reminders of our next movie synopsis here on Bento's Storybox. See you next time, or at the movies.